Tonight, for the ABC7 i team, dramatic new developments triggered by our exclusive Small Smiles investigation of the nation's largest provider of dental care for Medicaid children. Following our investigation, Medicaid and several private insurers launched their own investigations, and now they've begun to take action. The i-team's Roberta Baskin is here with more reaction to her exclusive reports. Roberta? Well, Leon and Julie, Medicaid subcontracts to those private insurers to provide dental care to children in need. Small Smiles has been the big beneficiary of that arrangement until today. The Small Smiles Clinic in the district is turning away patients today, and like the other four Small Smiles clinics in the area, canceling most of its June appointments. Audits by private insurance companies discovered hundreds of thousands of dollars in unnecessary dental work. One company reported finding teeth may have been pulled unnecessarily. This father says he doubts his seven-year-old son's teeth needed the work Small Smiles recommended. He have a good teeth. I don't know why. They say they fill it up with something. Doral Dental USA has now terminated four of the 20 Small Smiles dentists in our area from its network and suspended its group practices pending further review. It does raise some concerns, so I'll definitely check into it. Can I talk to you about that? Thank you. Neither Doral nor Small Smiles will tell us the names of those dentists and decline to be interviewed. But the suspensions affect thousands of families who receive dental care at the chain's five clinics in the district in Maryland. After today, you know, I am going to look into see if I can find another dental clinic for her to go to. Health insurance providers tell us they are contacting families to find new dentists for them. Our investigation in November exposed callous treatment of children, separating them from parents, strapping them to papoose boards to increase productivity, performing unnecessary procedures, and using unlicensed x-ray technicians. We also revealed how Small Smiles worked the taxpayer-funded Medicaid system. They threw up the white flag and says, okay, you don't have to pre-authorize anything. Just do the work, you know, so we flooded the system. Doral had suspended Small Smiles for three months following our investigation, but has now told the state of Maryland it has discovered even more irregularities. It will be another four to six weeks for Doral to complete its investigation. United Healthcare, one of the larger insurance companies, continues to refer families to Small Smiles despite finding more than a quarter of a million dollars in questionable treatments. And meanwhile, the Maryland Attorney General's Office has a criminal investigation underway. We continue to hear from patients and employees from around the country about problems with Small Smiles. So keep calling and go to our website for links and resources at WJLA.com to the I-team, and we will keep following this story. That oh, video is just so hard to watch. It's disturbing, I know. All right, but good work. Good Thank work.